channel, my name is Stephanie and today I wanted to do a little Everlane haul and try on for you guys. I got this stuff a couple months ago now and I had to return some stuff and exchange some things. So I figured I'd show you what I ended up with and do a little try on and review for you guys and I hope you enjoy it. So keep watching. So I ordered some things from Everlane. Their packaging, by the way, I really appreciate that it's all in paper. There's no plastic, so that was really nice as well. This is my first time ordering from them, so yeah. So the first thing that I got was... Actually, I lied. There's some plastic in the package, but it says... This is a poly bag. Almost every manufactured good that ships from a factory comes in one. This one is made from recycled plastic. Please recycle it again. So that's interesting, actually. <laughs> so it's not that bad. All right. So the first thing that I got was the Everlane 90s Cheeky Jean. And I got these in a size 24 originally which is the size here. And they turned out to be too big in the waist. So I I got the 23s and these ones, I missed the cutoff for returning them. So I don't know, I'll sell them on my Depop, I guess. I'll leave the link below if anybody actually wants to buy them. They're super nice and they're obviously like still brand new. Still the tag on. So yeah, but I really wanted to start buying more ethically made clothing. Since living in Vancouver, I got really into buying secondhand stuff and now, we, it's kind of harder to find secondhand clothing. So I thought I would try Everlane because I know that they are one of the ethical companies and they're really transparent with, you know, their factory conditions and all that stuff. And this even says too, they do all kinds of good things. They have set out to make the world's cleanest denim. It's made at an LEED certified factory in Vietnam with some of the most stringent sustainability practices in the industry like recycling 98% of its water and air drying all jeans. What's more, the facility repurposes denim byproducts to make bricks for affordable housing. So that's pretty neat actually. So like for the price they're jeans, that's pretty great. I got these for 145 bucks. So, and they're organic cotton and I'm pretty sure they're 100% cotton as well. Yeah, 100% organic cotton. So they're like the old school mom jean vibe. So that's these, and the jeans that I actually have, so obviously I haven't been wearing those because they're too big, but these are the jeans that I own, and I must say, they have broken in super nicely. They're a really nice, I got them in the indigo blue color. They're just a really good wash. They fit so nice. They're incredibly comfortable and I always like to roll up the cuffs too. I kind of wish I tried the petite size actually, not the regular length because I am short. I'm like 5'5", five, 5'6". Five, five, so yeah. But anyway, I really like that they have the five pockets, uh, sorry, five buttons as well. I think that's just such a nice detail and it's really kind of, you know, retro. As you can see, the leather patch is a bit like more creased now, if you compare it to the brand new unworn ones. They're basically the same color still. I would say they're, yeah, they haven't really faded at all. That's the brand new ones, obviously. And these are mine that I've been wearing for a couple months and they have held up very, very well. Um, if you saw my recent A Gold Day Jeans review, those jeans are quite thin. And I mean, they're, I think they're a different type of cotton obviously too, but these just feel like a really good substantial weight to them and really good for wearing them in the winter as well. And I wore them last month, like June, sorry, I wore them in June, the end of June. And they're just great. They're a really classic color, good fit. I love these jeans, honestly. I think they're, they're probably my favorite pair of jeans that I own, so. Love those, got those, and again, I got those for $145 Canadian. And then the next thing that I got is the, the Texture Cardigan Cotton in Field Green. 
and this was $160 and I got it in a size small so this is the cardigan I'll show you the photo from the website because the color is a bit different on camera but it's a really nice soft kind of green and it's just a really classic looking cardigan all right so that's the cardigan buttoned up and it's a nice cropped fit too which I really like I actually wore this to dress up to go out to I wore this to a concert and it was just really nice I loved it and it's this is I believe 100% cotton as well it's 73% cotton and 27% nylon so that's the cardigan and it's got a really nice kind of like cable knit detail to it. It's just lovely. I love this cardigan. And the sleeves are so nice. Yeah, this is like my special times cardigan. I really want to try the Baba sweaters as well. And I was deciding between that or this one this year, this past winter, or whenever I got it, a couple of months this year. I was deciding between those two this year, and I decided to go with the Everlane for now um, but I'm very happy with this purchase for sure the next thing that I ordered and ended up keeping was the organic cotton box cut t-shirt and I got this in the navy and canvas striped and this was $38 and this was a small and because it was a cropped t-shirt I thought a small would be a good fit for me but it's honestly a bit big on me and you'll see when I do the try on but Either way, it's a cute t-shirt, it's, you know, good quality, and I really appreciate that the top collar doesn't, like, stretch out after wearing it, because a lot of t-shirts do that, and it drives me bonkers. So, but yeah, this has definitely stood up the test of time for sure, for however long I've had it. Let's see when I order this stuff. December. I ordered in December, actually. So, it probably arrived, like, sometime in January, I would say, so it's definitely... It's about six, seven months old now, and it's definitely thriving. Yeah, again, it's nice small, and it's organic cotton, and I definitely, now that I kind of know my sizing in Everlane, I wish that I had sized down, and it just, it seemed like too much work, honestly, at the time to return it, and I thought it was fine, and I thought if I washed it, it would shrink a bit and then fit better, but... That was unfortunately not the case. So yeah, anyway. The other things that I ordered, that same order was the Organic Cotton Crew and I got that in Heathered Oat. I ended up returning that t-shirt just because it was honestly nothing really special. The fit wasn't amazing. I'm, I'm very picky about t-shirts too, I should say. So that fit wasn't really, it was too long. I kind of like my t-shirts a bit more cropped, especially because I usually wear high-waisted pants. So that t-shirt I ended up returning and then the utility barrel pant, which was super cool. Those pants were awesome. I got them in a size zero and they were a bit big on me. I, I kind of wore them around the house for like a couple hours just to see and they were just too loose on me. So I ended up just returning them and not worrying about getting a new pair at the time because I'm also I'm trying to have minimal amount of clothing and just stuff that I'm going to wear all the time and love and high quality and at the time I really just needed the jeans so that's why I never reordered the barrel pants. So yeah that is my recent Everlane order. It was very satisfying. Their customer service is very good too, I must say. But yeah, I am kind of bummed that I missed the cutoff for returning those jeans. So yeah. And nobody wants to buy them here where I live in Newfoundland. Everlane isn't really a popular brand here. If I was living in Vancouver, those would be gone like day one. So anyway, let's get to the try on. All right, so this is the cotton box cut t-shirt. This is the size small and yeah. So again, I just think it could be a little bit, I know it's, I know the style is box cut, like I appreciate that. But I think it 
could just be a little bit more flattering if it was a touch smaller. Like I had a photo, a candid photo taken of me wearing this and I was like, ooh, I wish that shirt wasn't like so boxy on me. I know that's the name of the, the style, but I think a size smaller could have been a lot better for me. Especially, yeah, looking in the mirror and just like, you know, but also it is my fault for not returning it on time. This is the other thing that really bugs me about t-shirts is this lower part is curling up and I just wish that that didn't happen, you know? I wish that it could just fit flat, you know, just lay flat. And in the year 2022, when, you know, all genders have to work and, you know, work full time, and be busy and all that, I just don't have time to iron my t-shirts, you know? And I really wish that these t-shirts didn't do that. Again, at least the most important, the most noticeable part is the collar and it doesn't do that up top. So that's like definitely points in their direction for sure. But yeah, overall, I am again quite picky about t-shirts. For some reason, it's just, it's a thing. I don't know why, but overall this t-shirt's nice and I do like it and I'm, I, I do like this t-shirt. I just think that it could be a little bit better quality in some ways and a better fit again. But anyway, that's that. All right, and then these are the jeans. These are the 90s cheeky jean in size 23. And I think they're a really nice fit on me. I think that they're, they're so comfortable. They fit really nice. Anyway, so yeah, those are the jeans, 90s cheeky jean. And as you can see, I like to roll up the cuffs. Can you see that? Very nice, very nice. So that's definitely, I love that I can do that. And then again, because I live in Newfoundland, I need to think about wintertime <laughs> practicality. And this definitely is a practical winter item. And the last thing is the sweater. All right, and this is the sweater. I will be honest, I don't normally wear the t-shirt and the sweater together. I usually wear just like a plain, either black or white t-shirt. But I mean, you definitely could wear it all as one outfit. So yeah, I really like the sleeves too, I think. They just are nice and like a little bit extra fabric and it's good crop on them. And I like too that the t-shirt and the sweater are the same length so you can just wear it all as one. You don't have to worry about tucking in the shirt or having a shirt that's a different length, you know, longer than a sweater. So. Yeah. I definitely love my first order from Everlane and I will definitely be ordering from them again once I, if I need more things. They're definitely an excellent option and they have good sales every once in a while too. And shipping is good. I'm very happy with my order. And if you like this video, please like it and subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.